Giving the gift of music this holiday season, that's what one local organization is trying to do. The Franklin Symphonic Council is asking you to clean out your attics and dig into your closets because they want your old instruments. Our Elizabeth Choi joining us now with more on what they plan to do with those instruments. Elizabeth. Well, Phil, Brooke, they plan on donating them to kids, specifically those in the BAM program at Franklin Community Middle and High Schools. It's a district where many of the kids simply can't afford instruments, but the organization won't let them. That silence the kids. Spread across Karen Sanders' living room are instruments. Everything from drums to a saxophone still in its case. Karen has been instrumental in gathering the musical equipment. I've been going and picking them up. They'll give me a call, they tell me what they have. Uh, I get an address, we arrange a time and a date, and I take off and I fill up my car and I bring them home. This is an alto sax that we had donated. Karen is a board member for the Franklin Symphonic Council. We want to help promote music and the arts in the Johnson County area for adults, students, children, for everyone. One way they're doing that is by taking in donations, instruments mainly. Then the organization will pay to have them refurbished. We don't want a child to have to be told, I'm sorry, you don't have an instrument, so you can't play. The instruments go to 7th through 12th grade students. Franklin Community Middle School Principal Rita Holman estimates that around 50% of students can't afford an instrument. If they can't do that because of finances, um, that really limits their opportunities. So any way that we can allow kids, all kids, to have access to our program um, is, is greatly appreciated. A sentiment that strikes a chord with Karen. Music is so important to individuals and to their lifestyles that it's so important that we make sure we can get an instrument in every child's hand. The Franklin Symphonic Council takes in donations year-round, but there's a special emphasis this time of year. On our website, which is wishtv.com, we'll have ways you can help out, including making a monetary donation. In the studio, Elizabeth Choi, 24-Hour News 8.